Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 4.2, finding the derivative. In particular, we're going to study a specific process called differentiation from first principles. 12.2 represents chapter 12, section 2 of the Pearson A-level Mass, Pure Mass Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following coordinate grid. I've drawn the curve y equal f of x, and I've labeled the point A and the point B on the curve. Furthermore, I've drawn the tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point A. Let's have a look at this in more detail. As point B moves closer to the point A, so you can see that the point B is moving closer to the point A, the gradient of the chord AB gets closer to the gradient of the tangent to the curve at A. Okay, let's formalize this. So now I'm going to go through the procedure of differentiation from first principles. Suppose the point A has coordinates x, f of x, and the point B has coordinates x plus h, f of x plus h. Let's have a look at the gradient of the chord AB. So here is the chord AB. The change in y is f of x plus h minus f of x. The change in x is x plus h minus x, which is basically h. So step number one, the gradient of the chord AB is given by change in y over change in x. So this is step one of differentiation from first principles. Okay, step number two, a very important key fact. The gradient of the curve at A is equal to the gradient of the tangent to the curve at A. Now this gradient is denoted by f dash of x. Step number three of differentiation from first principles. As h tends to zero, the gradient of the chord AB becomes the gradient of the tangent to the curve y equal f of x at A. Okay, so here you can see that h is getting closer to zero. So the gradient of the chord AB becomes the gradient of the tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point A. Right, so step number four. From first principles, f dash of x is given by limit, so lim is a shorthand for limit, or you could say limiting value, as h tends to zero, so that means as h tends to zero, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now f dash of x is called the derivative of f of x, you can also call it the gradient function. These are the key facts of 12.2, finding the derivative. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. Prove from first principles that the derivative of 10x squared is 20x. The key word is first principles. So we have to differentiate from first principles. Now using first principles, we know that f dash of x is given by the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so let's proceed with the solution. We're going to start off by uh, saying that let f of x equal 10x squared. We are trying to differentiate 10x squared. So let f of x equal 10x squared. Now we're going to work out f of x plus h. We replace the x with x plus h. So we have x plus h in bracket squared. Okay, so let's open up the brackets. So we have x plus h times x plus h. We are now going to expand the brackets. x times x is x squared plus x times h is hx plus h times x is hx plus h times h is h squared. We can simplify what we have inside the bracket. So I've got 10 lots of x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Okay, now we're going to expand out with the 10. So 10x squared plus 20hx plus 10h squared. Okay, so now I'm going to work out f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so that would be f of x plus h, which is this over here, 10x squared plus 20hx plus 10h squared, take away f of x, which is 10x squared, all over h. We can see that the 10x squared cancel out, leaving us with 20hx plus 10h squared, all over h. Ladies and gents, we can split this into two fractions. So we have 20hx over h, plus 10h squared over h. 
Okay, so over here for the first fraction, the H's cancel out. So that first term simplifies to 20x plus. Over here, this H will cancel with 1H over here, leaving us with the second term being 10H. Okay, so from first principles, so from FP, shorthand first principles, F dash of X is given by the limit as H tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so that would be the limit as h tends to 0 of 20x plus 10h. So when we take the limit as h tends to 0, we assume that h is roughly 0, so we replace the h with 0. 10 times 0 is to 0, so we're left with 20x. So we have shown from first principles that if f of x is equal to 10x squared, f dash of x is 20x. This completes exam style question 1. Let's have a look at exam style question 2. A curve has equation f of x equal 4x squared minus 5x. The curve passes through the point P, which has coordinates 2, 6. Use differentiation from first principles. So the key word is first principles. We have to apply this particular result here. Okay. To find the value of the gradient of the curve at P. Now the gradient of the curve at P is given by substituting x equal 2 into the gradient function. So we are trying to work out f dash of 2. That is our target. But before we work out f dash of 2, we are going to proceed forward by working out f dash of x, the gradient function. Okay, right, we're going to start off with f of x equal 4x squared minus 5x. That there is f of x. Now we're going to work out f of x plus h. We can replace the x's with x plus h. So I've got 4x plus h in bracket squared minus 5x plus h. Okay, so I'm going to expand out the brackets. So I've expanded this single bracket. Now I'm going to expand this double bracket. So I've got four lots of x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Okay? Minus f of x minus 5h. Okay, so now I can expand with the four. So if I do this, I've got 4x squared plus 8hx plus 4h squared minus 5x minus 5h. Okay, so I'm going to put the x's together and the h's together. So I've got 4x squared plus 8hx minus 5x plus 4h squared minus 5h. All right, so ladies and gents, that is my f of x plus h. Now I'm going to find f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. That is my next target. So the f of x plus h is this over here. So 4x squared plus 8hx minus 5x plus 4h squared minus 5h. Take away f of x, which is 4x squared minus 5x. So if I expand, I get minus 4x squared uh, plus 5x all over h. Okay, so I've got some cancellations here. The 4x squared cancel. And we also have that the minus 5x will cancel with the plus 5x. Okay, so we've got some simplification. Equal. We now have 8hx uh, plus 4h squared uh, minus 5h all over h. 
Now I can split this fraction into three parts. So I've got that f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. is given by the first term divided by h plus the second term divided by h minus the third term divided by h. So for the first term, the h is cancelled here. For the second term, this h cancels with 1h here. And for the third term, these h is cancelled. So we're left with 8x plus 4h minus 5. So, therefore, f dash of x is given by the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. This is the limit as h tends to 0 of 8x plus 4h minus 5. Let's put brackets over here. Right, so now when we're taking the limit as h tends to 0, we say that h is roughly 0, so we can replace the h with 0. So if we do that, we get that f dash of x, the derivative of f of x will be 8x minus 5. Now that there is my gradient function, I can work out the gradient at any point on the curve y equal f of x. In other words, the f of x is 4x squared minus 5x. So what I want to do is find the gradient of the curve at the point p, which has x coordinate 2. So now I can work out f dash of 2. So f dash of 2 is given by 8 multiplied by 2, take away 5. So 16 take away 5 is 11. That there is the final answer. Okay? So we've used differentiation from first principles to find the value of the gradient of the curve at P. So the gradient of the curve, um, f of x equal 4x squared minus 5x at the point P is 11. This completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 12.2 finding the derivative. Now if you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video. Also, my merchandise shop has been activated. So if you scroll down, you'll find a link to my shop. Head over to my shop, buy a t-shirt, buy a hoodie, buy a soft toy. You can also buy maybe a phone cover. There's so many items up for sale. If you buy these items, you can promote the channel and that will be really useful to myself. So please, guys, head over to my shop and buy some merchandise. There's also a discount code. You can redeem that discount code and you'll get a discount. All right, see you in the next video.